Hello everyone, it's Janet here with my design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts and the Wild Bunch. On um, this time I created a flip-flop mini album. Now this album can either sit like this or stand up like this. And it is um, made out of just a regular pair of flip-flops. I got this idea from a scrapbook magazine several years ago and I've actually made several of them and they really, really have turned out cute. Um, I wanted to commemorate um, the summer. We had a girl come from Ecuador and stay with us for most of the summer. Her name was Michelle and she turned 21 while she was here and a friend of ours that is living in Ecuador um, knows her real well. We had never met her and suggested that she spend her summer vacation with us. So we had a wonderful time. The house is empty without her. So I wanted to make this album to remember that special summer. So I have Summer with Michelle 2012. And then on the straps here, I have layered um, flowers. I um, layered the mixed color cherry blossoms, PM00032. And I also layered them with the mixed color batik flowers, BLM042. And these flowers were perfect for this. I um, wanted them for this book because um, they can be flat or they can be dimensional, which is perfect for scrapbook pages. So I have the, the cherry blossoms and then the batik flowers layered. And then over here I have a filigree butterfly, which is the JW00014. And I just put glossy accents on top of it and put uh, the pink German glass glitter GT00012 on it. And to keep the filigree from to show through, I just took a stick pin and went from the back to the front while the glitter was still wet and um, punched out the empty places. And then just put a little bling trim from my stash there. I have a Small curly wild pink rose FM000 or just 00251 right there in the center, and I have some seam binding back behind there. And right up here, I have a stick pin that I made out of some wild orchid craft supplies. It looks like this, and so I used the pink pearlescent heart pin HP0004. And I just layered that with two of the batik flowers. I just took the stamens out of the center. And then I also used, on the bottom of that, I used a metal bead cap, JW00025. And so I layered them together so they look like this. I really like the way they turned out. So that's right up here. You can see that. So anyway, that is the book and then it can just sit up like this and it uh, has room for lots and lots of pictures so on this page here I wanted to showcase all of the different parts of Michelle she's very artistic she had a ball here in my craft room um, it kind of made me appreciate what I have because she said in Ecuador it's hard to get a lot of art supplies and what you can find are very very expensive so um, makes us appreciate all that we have available to us here. And then I also have a couple of photos that were taken here in our town in Reading. So that was that page. And it holds a lot of pictures when you just print out small little pictures. And it was really fun because she loved everything American and she loved American food. So we had really a lot of fun taking her to different restaurants and she just enjoyed every bite. It was really a lot of fun. So. Michelle the foodie on that page and then we also I took her to a tea house and then we also had the big tea party at Lavender Hills which she ended up decorating this table down here all by herself just using my dishes and my things so she had a lot of fun and she looked gorgeous and so these were the tea parties she never had that before so that was fun to introduce her to that and then we did a, she's very athletic so but she hadn't played baseball, so we had some baseball and went out to the lake, lots of swimming. She went hiking, and these were her goodbye pictures. She ended up purchasing a lot of goods here 
to take back home. So her suitcases were stuffed, and boy, it was a teary goodbye at the airport. So that was the goodbye part. This was her 21st birthday out at the lake. So right here, I used some of those batik flowers and just wrapped some of the divine twine around and tied it in a bow. That is the aqua. WT00011. I just wrapped that right around there. So that was her 21st birthday. So we celebrated that at the lake. And then we also took a trip over to the coast. And so that's the pictures there. So I used the paper line that I used was the K Syrah Syrah by K and Company. It's an older collection, but it was perfect for her because she just loves color and loves everything bright and cheerful and so that worked really good. So this was the album that I did for her. I want to show you one of my older albums um, because you can make them so look so much differently depending on the colors that you use and the type of flip-flop you use. So this is an older one that I did and this is originally the way the scrapbook magazine showed it with just tying ribbons on it and then this one just says summer and so it says summer here with a bunch of summer pictures. So you can do it that way too. So it's a great way to commemorate a summer. So you can use any kind of flip-flop and just decorate it however you like, but it's a really fun idea. So I hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!